Hi, it's Rocky from the Rocky and Sue Show on 98.5 KRZ. We're on the radio here at uh, 5.30 in the morning, and I am what is called a big, a big brother. Rocky, tell us a little bit about how you first got interested in helping out with the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Well, I always knew there was a need, and we were just looking for a way of just exposing Big Brothers Big Sisters, and when I found out there really was a great need for guys to get involved in the program, I thought, what a cool thing. Uh, you know, I'll volunteer on a monthly basis and we'll give exposure to the kids on the radio and show you, you know, show our listeners how much fun it is and how they really, you know, need to be matched up with a, with a big in our area. That's one of the things that your work uh, really does help out with Big Brothers mm -hmm. Big Sisters because you're a big brother in a little bit of a different way. You take a different uh, boy out once a month for right. the afternoon who is on the waiting list. Mm -hmm and you kind of expose them to the program and you also expose the program to others in the community and so you know how do you feel about kind of putting the spotlight on that need for that child I know you just spoke about it a little bit but uh, obviously you, you go even further by bringing them on the radio as well. Right, I, I get to share my experience as does the the young boy we talk about how much fun we had on the weekend and then you I, I guess people you know if they don't know it almost like fear of the unknown. Oh, what's involved? What do I have to do? Do I have to? You know, I don't have time to do it, and I can kind of show them just uh, you know a couple hours on a Saturday afternoon is what I give up. I do it on a monthly basis, and then try to show them you know how much fun we had doing. Uh, just acting like a kid again, acting like you're eight, nine, ten years old. You know, playing miniature golf, video games, and uh, going to sporting events, and uh, just try to get that exposure on the radio to get more folks involved. What are some of your favorite memories of experiences you've had with the program with some of the kids? You know, it's cool. It's, if I'm at a, a hockey game or a Yankee game at PNC Field and I just happen to randomly bump into a, a little that I had out, you know, maybe a year or two, and they all of a sudden, hey, Rocky, how you doing? And just to see that kid and catch up and, and maybe get the great news that they've been matched up with the big brother. Terrific. Um, how has it exchanged you? You know, obviously you've had a great impact on these kids' lives um, and you've shown them some good times, but how has it changed you as a person, the Big Brothers program? Just the challenge, because it, it's, you know, it's hard. Every kid is different, but to try to make that connection in a short amount of time, you know, if you, you're in the program, of course, you have time to build up that relationship. And after, you know, a couple of months, of course, you know, they're like a part of the family. But with me, it's just kind of a, uh, a quick hit on the weekend, so my time is limited. So it's, it's been a challenge. You know, some kids, of course, they're, you know, they're very open. Other kids, maybe, uh, you know, they're a little uh, tougher to crack. But hopefully by the end of the couple hour period and then the time on the radio the next morning, uh, you know, we can kind of break through the shell and get them to open up a little bit. So that's, it's, it's rewarding when I am able to do that. Well, we thank you for all the help you provide the agency, both to you and, and everybody here at KRZ. Oh, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. Get involved. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of time, and you have, you know, so much fun. And there is such a big need for big brothers in our area.